Today we are looking at Trophy Titans hero Freddy Lumber. He's five foot nine, high medium work rates, four star, four star right footed. Can play left wing, left mid, or right mid. And if you look at this card as a base card, he looks really good. A great acceleration, sprint speed, fantastic finishing. Really good short pass, great composure, good agility and balance as well. In terms of traits, we've got outside the foot shot and nothing else. We've gone for an engine today and we'll talk about chem styles, pricing, what I thought about the card and much more at the end of the review on Footbin. That being said, let's go jump into some gameplay but have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Nice, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So with Freddie Lundberg today, we're going to be playing in our four triple two season. We're going to be playing on that left hand side at the top of the pitch there. And his main job is that if he gets through on goal, of course, his finishing ability. I really want to know what his dribbling is like and his passing and link up play. We get, get him through here. A bit of a heavy touch for me there, unfortunately. But you can see that is the role we're going to be playing on him. Managed to use his World Cup card and his base hero. And at the time of when they came out, they were really good cards. So I am kind of expecting a similar thing from this Freddie Lundberg. Right, counter attack. Oh, Lundberg at the top of the pitch. A great ball. First touch pass. Lundberg over the top. Oh, I try to do a bit of skill. A little bit slow when it comes into those bouncing passes, but that could be down to the coding. Right, Freddie Lundberg picks up the loose ball. Bit slow going into full speed. Got a weird body type. Right, here we go. Counter attack again. Lundberg straight away into Haaland. I've got the choice. Top of all. I'm going to use him as a dummy run. Oh, he's just offside, unfortunately. Good tackle. Got the counter attack. Good pass in. Lenny Lundberg over the top. First shot. And it's right at the goalkeeper. That's poor. Really taking that heavy touch. Puts a better touch in. Burkamp at the bottom is a really good pass and an even equally better tackle. We pick up the loose pass though. Back to Freddy. Straight away the first time pass. That's again not the best pass. Lundberg on the ball. Gets past Yaya Torre. Again a bit slow. It's got to be a foul ref. It is a foul this time. A little bit slow going into the full speed. I'm noticing. You see here he's not got the best free kick statistics. Definitely not the worst but the best. We're going to talk Cruz to run over the top. He's going to play that pass down that line there. Cut it back to Freddy. Try and blitz pass if we can. Good control there. Good skill. Working away through. Gets a shot off and a great save from the goalkeeper. So going into full speed, like I say, is a little bit slow. And that's down to him having that controlled accelerate. Lundberg driving from deep. A little layoff. One, two. Lovely play. Again, slow in the transition. Do you pick up the loose pass? Good tackle again. Right, counter attack. Just before half time. Put the ball behind. Burkham's got a lot to do. Little cutback. Freddie Lundberg, open goal, and there is it is. Finally got the goal of him. He is quite difficult to use. My opponent has got a very good team, I have to admit. But I am lacking with this control. I don't know if it's because we're at the top of the end of the screen or not. He just feels a little bit slow going into transition. In terms of Leicester dribbling, he's very good. In terms of actual distribution, the ball, fantastic. But just getting into that full speed is very weird to get used to. Let's jump into the second half. Into the second half we go. We've actually put on some pace. We've dropped Harlem because he was a little bit lacking in the link-up play and passing. So I'm hoping that we can manage to drive on. So our opponent's doing something very weird with the ball here. Is it up? Good dribble again. Getting into speed. Lovely pass in. Burkamp with a shot and it's gone wide. It's very unfortunate there. Lundberg at the bottom. If that Travel cross. That's an absolutely unbelievable cross and a better save from the goalkeeper there. But Lundberg at the bottom. Can we find him? We can. Lundberg with a long range shot, and that's a terrible shot again. Why is this shooting? Good tackle from Lundberg. Right, let's go. Getting away from Kyle Walker. Going to go for that cross. Not a bad cross. And off the bar. Reset the attack. Back to Lundberg. Bit of skill. Little cut back. Good defense. Wriggle away out. Get the shot off. Get the assist with Lundberg. Pretty sure it's all down to that Dennis Bergkamp. But you can see he can cause problems on that left-hand side. It's just getting him into the space and capitalising on a mistake from our opponent. Let's go counter-attack. Werner driving the ball. Got Lundberg at the top. One more. Can we find him? We can. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Great finish there. Again, not the best finesse. It goes in the middle of the goal, but we green-timed and got the goal. Looks like we're going to be getting a rage quit as well. And I do think we've seen enough gameplay. We will talk about him on Footbin now. Let's go jump over to Footbin. 
So we are on Footbin. I paid about 39000 for him. And I do think that price is pretty much fair. But comparing to the World Cup card is 28 k There are minus twos and minus ones. So this card has got a bit better in terms of statistics. Went for an engine that was really just to push up that pace and maximize his agility and balance. I was hoping that an engine would kind of counteract this accelerate control because he would have 95 pace. With 97 acceleration, that kind of is a lie. And I think it's down to having this lean body type being 5 foot 9. If he had a bit of a better body type with a high, uh, a high agility balance, sorry, he would be much, much more responsive. I will also admit there is really heavy gameplay at the moment, so that also could be a problem as well. In terms of passing, though, really, really good. Executing skill moves, better than most. Not the best, but better than most. Finishing well inconsistent. And again, it could be down to heavy gameplay from this morning. But overall, I actually do like the card. If you're looking for a Premier League midfielder or a winger or maybe even a striker to play in that role for really cheap, I do think Lundberg is a very good shout. He's going to help you get to that next stage. He's definitely not top tier or like mid tier meta, unfortunately. And that's just down to the amount of decent right backs people have or defenders that people have, let alone the attackers they have on top of that. So it is something to consider when using this card as he's going to feel a little bit lacking at times. But again, if you didn't want to use Engine, you could probably just go and maximize his finishing a little bit more and go for a Hawk. Or, of course, a finisher to make him explosive. And I am kind of leaning towards making him explosive to get him faster. Because it is extremely frustrating in heavy gameplay that he doesn't go into full speed at times. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you.